thought if we were going to lose this one, it was going to be because of Tobias Harris and not Jamal Murray. But Murray couldn't get it done early and they didn't need him late. So unfortunately, one and one yesterday couldn't pick up the dub. Big game out of Tobias Harris, though. That was nice to see. We're back again, though. Two more plays for today. We're going one from the Heat, one from the Warriors. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. And follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. The other biggie is signing up at Chalkboard. Totally free. Let's start there. This costs you nothing. There's never any costs associated with this, at least from us, moving forward. This is a free app. It's a community. We're looking to talk about prize picks. We're looking to talk about sports betting. That's all we're doing, chopping it up. We're dropping our picks in the app. You can get it on Android or on the iPhone. It'll track all of the things that you do at prize picks or at sports books. Pretty cool as well. Sometimes we do some giveaways. That's a benefit to you guys. But ultimately, we're just trying to bring people together. And you can do that by clicking the link in the description. Now, we're on to today's plays. Just like I normally do, we're taking the over 33 and a half fantasy points for Bam Adebayo. I have it way higher than this mark, and I think you should too. I know people seem to be down on Bam. I don't totally understand why, and I have no idea why this line is 33 and a half. Let's just start here. Bam's like a 1.1 fantasy point per minute guy normally. Now, I'm guessing most people think that that has not been the case for Bam Adebayo as of late. He's scored 149 points, fantasy points, in 139 minutes in this series. That's 1.07 fantasy points per minute. Even if you just want to call it one, the expectation for Bam is not 33 and a half minutes played today. We're talking about 36 minutes. He's averaging 37 and a half. If you're giving him a fantasy point per minute at 37 minutes, which is a standard projection for Bam Adebayo, you're well north of this number. I don't understand why it's coming in the way that it is. I like him as a 1.1 guy. I like him for 40 fantasy points. 33 and a half is too low. I don't care what anybody's thinking here for Bam. He's underrepresented in this market. The other play for today is going to be Draymond Green over eight points. I got him at 9.4. He's hit this once and he's pushed once on this number. But I'm expecting big things out of the Warriors today. I think the Warriors handle their business at home. We get this to game six. And in situations where I'm expecting a big day from the Warriors, I usually think that Draymond is going to be a linchpin to that. I think he gets a couple easy baskets because the days that Draymond can pick up a little bit of scoring when he's feeling it from three and he's like willing to take it. Those are the days that the Warriors seem to run at their like highest RPMs. That's what I'm expecting to see today. North of eight points doesn't seem like a, a tough sell. If he ends up less than that, I think it's very likely that the Warriors aren't going to be playing a game six. So eight points seems easy. One bucket per quarter and we at least push. Get me one free throw. Let one of those buckets be a three and all of a sudden we automatically win. That's what we need for today. There we go, folks. Bam Adebayo over. Draymond Green over. Those are my two prize picks picks for today. Wednesday, May 10th. Great day, folks. Good luck, everybody. We're going to pick up a dub here. Get to 2-0 for today and we'll bring that momentum into Thursday. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.